Hello, welcome. We are here with another case of marginal costing in which we have data regarding sales and total cost of first half and second half of a calendar year. Now we know that we are to use the formula change in profit upon change in sales but here we are with total cost. We have two ways either to find sales minus total cost equals to profit and to use the formula change in profit upon change in sales or to use formula change in total cost upon change in sales which will give us the percentage of variable cost to sales. If we subtract percentage of variable cost to sales from 100 the result will be PV ratio. But I personally prefer not to change the formula but to find the profit. So I suggest to use the formula change in profit upon change in sales every time. So let us first calculate profit sales minus total cost first half 6000 and second half 8000. Now we can have change in sales rupees 10,000 as well as change in profit rupees 2000. So now we can easily calculate the PV ratio first of all. Profit volume ratio in this kind of questions the formula is change in profit you can use the sign delta delta is sign of change or difference upon change in sales. If we use sales quantity the result will be contribution per unit as we have already shown in the previous lecture. We are again the profit uh, sales in terms of value so now it will be rupees 2000 divided by rupees 10,000. You can consider any currency other than rupees the result will be same 0.2 or 20 percent. So in this case the profit volume ratio comes to 20 percent that will remain constant. As far as there is no change in selling price per unit as well as variable cost per unit. Now we have three things. Sales, profit and PV ratio. If we substitute these three in the formula of sales, we can have the fixed cost. Sales equals to fixed cost plus profit divided by PV ratio because we have sales value. If we have sales quantity, we have to use contribution per unit. But the important thing at this time is to maintain the pair of sales and profit. We cannot take sales and profit in any other way. We have to maintain the pair of sales and profit. Either we can take sales and profits both of first half or second half. The result, the amount of fixed cost will be the same whatever pair we are going to take. We are going to take the pair of first half. Sales rupees 60,000 <coughs> equals to the fixed cost is missing. The profit is 6,000. See, we, are, we have to maintain this pair. And PV ratio as we calculated 20%. The multiplication of these two will give us the total contribution for the first half. That is 60% of, uh, sorry, 20% of rupees 60,000. That means rupees 12,000 equals to fixed cost plus profit rupees 6000. So fixed cost or more precisely monthly sorry half yearly fixed cost comes to rupees 6000. First of all let us calculate BEP and margin of safety on the basis of this half yearly fixed cost. So both will be half yearly. Half yearly calculations. First BEP or more precisely break even sales value only is possible. Fixed cost upon PV ratio because we cannot calculate in this particular case the contribution per unit. So rupees 6000 the half yearly fixed cost divided by 20% and we know that 6000 is 20% of rupees 30,000. So break even point or break even sales value comes to rupees 30,000 that is half yearly. Now we can calculate margin of safety for both the halves separately. Margin of safety 
the formula is margin of safety equals to sales more precisely actual sales minus BEP first half it will be sales 60,000 rupees minus BEP 30,000 so margin of safety for the first half comes to rupees 30,000 out of sales of 60,000 30,000 is margin of safety and we know that the margin of safety is the only portion of sales which gives contribution or rather uh, contribution in excess of fixed cost that is profit 30,000 into PV ratio 20% the profit of first half is 6,000 and margin of safety for the second half will be rupees 70,000 minus BEP 30,000 so for the second half margin of safety is 40,000 now let us calculate these two things for the year first of all we have to find out yearly amount of fixed cost that will be rupees 6000 for the first half and 6000 for the second half so yearly fixed cost comes to rupees 12000 and see now the BEP or more precisely the break even sales value for the year will be exactly double fixed cost rupees 12,000 and PV uh, ratio 20% so break even point for the year comes to rupees 60,000 and that will affect the margin of safety sales will be now for the year 60,000 for the first half 70,000 for the second half minus yearly BEP so the margin of safety comes to rupees 70,000 for the whole year that can be reconciled in this way 30,000 for the first half 40,000 for the second half so for the whole year margin of safety is 70,000 Similarly, we can reconcile through profit for the whole year. The profit is 6,000 plus 8,000, 14,000. And profit is contribution from margin of safety that is 70,000 into 20% rupees 14,000. So, students, please take care whenever you are asked a question with half yearly data. Because particularly in the sums or problems or questions containing half yearly data of sales and profit or total cost the paper setters or examination are habituated to ask the items like BEP and margin of safety for half yearly as well as yearly basis but mind well you need to calculate BEP and margin of safety or anything yearly only if you have been asked in specific words that calculate so and so for the whole year or for the year or yearly if no such terms yearly or for the year or for the whole year is used by the paper setter you need to give all the answers on the basis of the period covered in the problem that's it thank you very much